Hey everyone. Let's see, happy Friday. Yeah, we've been here over a week now. We were at the beach, at the beach house, and I had a great day yesterday. I wanted to tell you about it. I met my friend Martha, who is my beach knitting buddy, and she brought her neighbor, Terry, who she taught how to knit. So we had a great, like two and a half hour lunch and knit, and it was so, so much fun. And then, danger, 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 Will Robinson, I went to the Dustin Yarn Shop because I wanted to complete my hat and I was short of double point. I didn't bring my double pointed needles. So I know I needed to do that. Well, you cannot walk into the Destin Yarn Shop and expect to walk out with nothing. She has such an amazing selection of yarn for sort of a regional NYS. And anyway, she gets a lot of visitors who knit and want to be, um, want to come in and buy things. Anyway, she's a really great selection. So she also carries, has done a great job of carefully selecting indie dyers and she's um, sold some Woolen Boon and some, some other indie dyers. Anyway, she's really got a great eye. Plus she's like a fantastic, fantastic maker. I mean, she's, anyway, moving on. I just wanted to tell you that I have been wanting to do the Harlow hat by Andrea Mowry. Now remember, I am in the gift knitting mode. So if I am successful with this hat, someone is gonna get this hat, not me. Um, I've already completed two FOs while I'm here. I completed my a little no nonsense, a little nonsense hat out of um, Madeline Tosh sock, chicory colorway, held double. I've never done that before. It was cool, it was really, easier than I thought it was gonna be. Um, anyway, so I thought, oh, and I finished my socks, a pair of um, socks that I think my sister-in-law is gonna get. So she's gonna get a hat and some socks. So I'm still on the gift knitting mode, very much on the gift knitting mode. But anyway, so while I was there, I wanted to buy um, some more Arroyo to make some more hats because I made a few hats last year with Arroyo and I loved working with it and it came out really well. So I wanted to attempt brioche, right? Andrea Mowry's Harlow hat. I, she carries this indie dyer brand. And I think if you follow Instagram at all, you probably have seen her, um, her yarns. I don't know her name. I'm gonna find out her name. I've been communicating with her on Instagram, but I don't know her name. Um, but the brand is Goosey Fibers. So at first, Carol and I picked out, I picked out this amazing colorway. It's amazing. It's so rich looking. It's got oranges and gold and like a little fuchsia in it. It's just amazing. And this is her label. You see fibers. She's out of, um, she's hand dyed with love from Massachusetts, okay? This is, this colorway is called Owl Emporium, and it is 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, so four ply, and, you know, it's, it's beautiful. So then I said, okay, Carol, we've got to pick out another one. If I'm going to do two color brioche, what should I do? So we walked over to the display again and it's magnificent okay that's all I have to say it's magnificent and it's um, the same uh, base cashmere merino I mean merino cashmere nylon again this is her label and this one is called not like I'm a defective great name seriously but I really, these two together for brioche will look fantastic, I think. So I think this is gonna be my primary color and this will be my, but you know, when you turn it inside out, this one will show up. Anyway, I'm gonna, she's, uh, Andrea Mowry has some videos out about doing um, the Twisted German cast on or something. I'm gonna try that. Um, she also has one on two color two. I don't know. I'm going to try a whole bunch of things. I'm going to play. I'm not, 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 not 
Anyway, so I'm gonna play and see how it goes. Okay, so that was very fun. So I had to buy some needles. The, the pattern calls for size two and size three, but she didn't have any size two, so we decided three and four is probably fine. So I'm gonna try that. I'm, it took, I'm just playing. No idea where it's going, but I'll post pictures on my progress. But I wanted to give a shout out to Goosey Fibers because I don't know her name. I've been communicating with her on Instagram and I don't know her name. Anyway, thank you. These are going to be beautiful. Um, one of the things that I said in my last podcast about gift knitting is um, if you want to buy a gift for a knitter, buy, and I got this while I'm here, buy the new Vogue knitting book. First of all, it weighs 50 pounds. It gets really heavy. Um, it's great, you know, and it's it's a really good reminder. I don't do as well with um, line drawings of, you know, visuals, but they have a lot of like, um, I don't do great. I don't do great. No, other people do with like drawings like this. Cause I really, yeah. But a lot of definitions, a lot of basic things, a lot of fiber information, a lot of like they have a, if you want to get into design, they have a designer's kind of um, chart. Yeah, it's useful to have around, you know, to pull out and say, what is that again? They have all kinds of, the, you know, the standard abbreviations and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, so I'm going to leave this here because I have another Vogue at home, but I'm going to leave this here because I'm building my library here at the beach. Um, also, while I was here, you know, Knit Stars, you know, I'm a crazy Knit Stars fan. Knit Stars is starting, I think in a few weeks, maybe in a couple weeks, I don't know. Anyway, one of the things that I bought and left here, duh, uh, which I don't want to do, I want to bring this home, is Alternates by um, uh, Andrea Wrangle. She's so cute. Is she cute? Anyway, it's all about um, color work. All about color work. I think I showed you this book before, but I wanted to tell you that Andrea Wrangle's gonna be on Knit Stars, so I'm gonna bring this home to Atlanta in case I wanna dabble in some things. I'm trying to clear my gift knitting calendar a little, make room for Knit Stars. Anyway, so, Andrew Wrangle's alternates is coming home with me. So it's just a little snippet I thought I would do. Um, probably add to this as I go, you know, through my time here. At the beach, I think we're coming home in a few weeks. Two, three more weeks? Maybe three more weeks. But anyway, yeah, I'm anxious to see my uh, knitting girls. By the way, a couple of us, did you see Marie Green's new pattern? The cute little tee, it's adorable, and Tuscan Knits yarn was used. And so one of my knitting, my Wednesday knitting members and I were like, we love that pattern, we have to buy that pattern, we have to buy the wool. I don't have to buy the yarn, but I did. Yeah, I'll show you when I get it, uh, when I'm back in town. Anyway, um, other things that are going on here, let's see, I've gone to my yoga class, We've got all the girls from the yoga class are going to see A Star is Born with Lady Gaga and uh, Bradley Cooper. Well, you know, it's a girl's movie. I mean, Bob would never want to go to see that with me, but the girls do. Um, anyway, so we're going on next week. I'm going to stop by the knitting store. Fran and Carol said, come by and just knit with us. So I, I might just do that this weekend. Why not? All right. Okay, love you all and signing off and I will um, see you later. Bye.